Hello, everyone, and welcome to Handmade by Ying with Donna. Today, I have a special guest with me, Dahlia. She is my lead moderator, and we're going to be selling together for the next three weeks on Wednesdays at 12 o'clock doing a Fallon pattern is what we've done that dubbed it. Words are hard today. I haven't got enough caffeine in. <laughs> so um, it's going to be fun. It's Dancing Stars. We are each working on the same block at this time. We are both going to be working on the nine patch. But before we get started, Day, welcome and thank you, honey, for joining me today. Well, thanks for inviting me along. It just seems like it's going to be a fun uh, pattern to, to work on. I'm I think forward she, to it. I think she outdid herself with this one. I think so, so. Let me slip into the chat and welcome everyone. Michelle's Craft and More. Hi, everyone. Beverly Atkins. Hi, Donna Joe and everyone. So with J Jesus, hello, hello, everyone, and God bless. Jody, hello, Beverly Atkins is talking to everyone. Um, let me see, Day's telling everyone hello. Jody, hello, Day, and fellow chatters. Mary Tally, hi, all. And I'm just skimming the chat. Michelle Starr, hello, everyone. Leanne, welcome, welcome, sweetheart. Beverly Atkins, I'm Bever um, Brenda Foley. And I think that's just about it. Everybody feel free to go ahead and chat it up, talk along with yourselves as we're talking. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, the pattern that we are doing today, as you can see, I dissect them and break them down into what makes sense for me. So this is the pattern that we're working on today, and it is Dancing Stars. And we are both doing the throw size. Anytime that I'm doing a pattern, I'm, I need the visual of the numbers so that when I'm laying the blocks out, I tag each of my rows when I start to build it out. So that's why you're going to see those numbers there. Let me see. The next pattern of Fallon that I will be doing is Modern Diamonds. That'll be following sometime in May. I will be kicking this off over here on our channel. So if anybody is interested in that, slip over to Fallon's. Go ahead and purchase it and um, support your fellow YouTuber. Fallon has went above and beyond with these back-to-back -back patterns, and she's doing a great job. There is specialty rulers that you will need for that. And you'll just need to slip in. And I think she's got it in a package deal as well. We are not getting any kickbacks for sewing her patterns. I just really enjoy sewing her patterns. So she blesses me with rulers and blesses me with her friendship along the way. So let me slip into the chat for the latecomers. Katie Palmer, hello, Sue, hello, Lynn, Jody, um, Debbie, hello. Hi, Papa Joe, Debbie said. Hey, girls. Um, in Quilt Fact, let me see. Jackie, handmade by Ying and Dahlia. Hello, hello. Amy C is in the house. Um, Quilting Queen is in the house. Hello, hello. Um, Leticia, hello, sweetheart, and welcome. For those of you that are joining in, we are doing a quilt drive. For Harper Strong, and they're all going to the Ronald McDonald House as a thank you worldwide for all of the love and support that they've shown to our Harper. And um, the cutoff on that's going to be tentatively no later than the end of May. Harper should be coming home, home to Frostburg um, sometime next week, that would be the goal. She goes to see her um, cardiologist on tomorrow. It's just Thursday. Then Monday, she sees the cardiac team as a whole, and they get the plan in motion to bring her home. So I can tell you what, our town's going to light up as this little comes back home. Vera Weeks, hello and welcome. So if you see anybody in green, they are our channel supporters. We also have a squirrel group. And on said squirrel group, as we were kicking this off, we have three levels of our channel support group. And I don't know the prices of anything. Joe runs that on the back ends on his side. But our super supporters are the ones that come into our squirrel group. You sit and sew with my moderators as well as 
several of the other um, content creators pop in from time to time, and we just have a good time. So if you are one of the super supporters, I'm going to be making a comment in that group at some point today or tomorrow, letting you know we opened it up to all to kick the group off. And then now we're going to have to reel it back to super supporters, as we said, because it's been pointed out. I'm letting everybody in, not just the super supporters. So I need to reel that back. I'm going to go down the list today and we're going to be changing things up, but I'm going to give it a week or two before I make any changes and shifting things around. So if you are one of our contributors, channel supporters, or whatever, we appreciate each and every one of you. So today's block, I'll get Joe to come down on the table for me, is going to be the nine patch. So as you can see, there's quite a few blocks that we need to build out. The center, this is the color variations that I am choosing to do for mine. And um, the rulers are the three by five that comes from Fallon. And your nine patches, all of them, will have to measure the 3.5. And if you're a little bit askew, now would be the time to go ahead. And I saved a few so that I would be able to just lay it here on the table and show you if you've not checked out these rulers, they're really simple. You make sure you're point to point here and here. And as you can see, anytime you sew, you're going to get that little tiny bit that is off. That is normal. That is normal. I don't care who is sewing. We always get that little bit. It's fun, easy, and you keep your fingers back. And it comes out perfect every time. No fuss, no muss. And I did the same over here to where I'd be able to just lay them. And... I've already squared these. I just saved one back that I'd be able to demonstrate the ruler for this project for you. Um, are there different levels now? I'm making sure I didn't miss something. You're going to have to go to the homepage and have a look, see, Liam. Um, good morning. Uh, Joe's always had three levels, but I can't sit here and tell you what those levels are. I know the super supporters are the ones that become squirrels. Cool. And... We're going to be working on that on the back end over the next week or two and making sure that we're matching up everything. And like I said, we humbly appreciate each and every one of you. So, Day, where are you at on your project? And I I'm am working on uh, finishing up this part of the nine patches so I can sew them together with this part of the nine patch. I think they're going to look great. I love that fabric that you've chosen. I have several done. They are so pretty. They're, they're looking good. Now you tweak the pattern just a little bit, if memory serves me correctly, because we're going to be showing two different ways. You're what using I, the FPP method. What else? What I chose to do, because a friend of mine and I are learning how to use e EQ8. So I thought, oh, I wonder if I can go into EQ8 and mess around with it and draw it out. And I was able, I was able to the start, the start, and I did the side pieces, but when it came to adding the side pieces with the FPP, I don't feel like I was getting the right size block finish mm -hmm. so i'm opting to wait till i get the nine and a half ruler that i ordered I'm just, it's on in the mail and i'm gonna add those pieces of the border after i build out that star because i've got one done for later right look at how beautiful that is but i don't want to cut it i don't want to cut it and measure it until i get the ruler and i don't want to cut any more of my fabric until I know I've cut these pieces the right way. That is gorgeous. And the right and size. For those that don't know, this is the ruler that Delia is talking about. This is the nine and a half ruler that comes from Soviet quilts. And it was specially designed for this pattern. And I'm sure that it'll be utilized in other patterns as well. But it has the 9.5 marking. It's got the anti-slip. 
it's got the cross on it as well. And I've learned that a lot of the rulers that I've picked up from Fallon and Matt, I've also been able to put my own marking on it if I need a special size by laying this down on top of another ruler. And I can either use my black permanent marker and that comes off with nail polish remover or Windex, or you can just use some tape and that way you can lay it down and snip, snip real quick. So this has multiple uses. And I like any time that I can use a ruler for multiple things. So let me see. Um, does anyone have any questions on any of the goodness that's coming your way from Fallon and Matt's? I'm telling you, they are knocking it out of the park with said rulers. And they are so easy to use. I've got numerous rulers that I've had just sitting for a spell because they slip and I'm afraid of cutting myself. These have made a definite difference in our sewing room. And uh, I'm really blessed to have them. So do you remember, Day, how many of this block we need to make? I believe there's... 21? Yeah, I didn't look at the pattern. I flipped yeah. it over backwards. If I, let me see here. For the throw, it's 21, 21 nine patches, then 21 of the left facing star, and then 10 of the right facing star. Okay. Just making sure I've got that many when I'm done. Right? Yeah, I was counting earlier today, and I ended up having to print up a couple more FPPs just to be on the safe side. Right. I really like your idea of how you um, changed it just a little bit. So there, it's really consistent, and it gives you a chance to fool with your EQA a little bit. And yes. I think that's ingenious. Love it, love it. Good morning, Suzanne. Welcome. So all we're going to do is snippy, snippy. These are going to be a little bit wonky for right now, and that's normal. And that's where the ruler will come into play when these blocks are totally built out. So I'm not even going to stop here and press. All I'm going to do is finger like that and lay these in. Doesn't matter what order, but your angle really matters. And by angle, your points should be coming out this way, your little two and a half inch blocks. And I'm just going to finger press it like that because we are going to get it under the iron here in just a minute. And I was looking at a couple different techniques because we're always looking, and I believe all of us are always looking for a fun way that we can streamline patterns. So I was looking this morning and I was telling Day about it, that um, I think it would be neat. I'm gonna try something when it comes to joining these together that should make the sewing project just move a little faster. And everybody knows I like to sew a little bit faster and get things done. Um, do you use the same fabric for the rectangles as the flying geese? If you look at the pattern behind me, I have used um, the same fabric, and it's all just mixed up. And I'll show you that in just a second. Let's see. I've used all batiks. So all of mine will match in. And this is the only star that I have completed so far. And this is the way my blocks will look. The blocks have not been squared down yet on my side. But the ruler that day was talking about this should lay directly on it and I'll be able to shave off 
whatever does not work. I'll do that after all of my blocks are done in their entirety. I will sit and just before I start laying them all out, I will just square them all down. That way it's a quick, easy process. Um, hello, Donna Day and Annette. Annette, hello, hello. So when you're doing these, make sure that you're pushing your seams the right way. And this goes really fast doing them this way. And I love the process when we're working with quilting. Totally, totally love it. And like I said, just remember when you're laying them in that your corner sections go the opposite way. So when I'm saying opposite way, I want that to go this way. So it's going to go this way and this way. And that's how they're going to join in. Good morning, Teresa Louise, and welcome. And Nick J, welcome, welcome. And just remember, push your white back to the left. That'll make a little bit of a difference when we're streamlining and getting these in. And I, like I said, I'm not worried about squaring them down because that will happen here at the end. Your pressed flower turned out beautiful last night, Teresa Louise. Yeah, it did. And I hope you're really feeling better, honey. So what do you find that you like about the process of FPP over traditional day? <laughs> the consistency of the, the quarter cons inch? The consistency well, I'm getting better at doing the quarter inch and hitting that line with the needle. So there is that. I, I think over the last, I want to say several months with the FPP and that consistency, your quilts are looking beautiful. Well, thank you. I I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it and trying to make a couple of charity quilts as well and practicing. And you know, practice makes perfect, right? Or uh, That's what they said. At least, at least better, hopefully. I go for better. Thank you, Teresa Louise, for watching the chat for day and I today. I humbly appreciate it. Yes, thank you. I'm trying, but... <laughs> no, you got to be sewing, girl. I know, right? I got to try to keep up. You are so far ahead of me right now. <laughs> By the end of the show, you'll have all your nine patches done, and I'm going to be here thinking around. I just love that you have that kind of faith in me. Everybody knows how I sew and everybody knows how you sew. So we all know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a race. And at my end. <laughs> nah. It's fun and that's all that matters. Exactly. I just love the process in its entirety from beginning to end. And that's what's fun. So now I've got all of these done and I'm going to sit these over here and I'm going to go ahead and do these and get these done so that we can streamline. I'll get them all pressed up and then we're going to get busy piecing these together. I think these colors are going to turn out really cool. I did use just about all of the um, patiques that I had in this shade of blue. And um, I think it's going to come together really nice. And the other quilt, I do have it on the quilt rack. If I remember before we end today's live, I'll be able to showcase you and let you see that. That'll be going to Mennonite Farmhouse next week. And 
it'll be a quilt of valor donation from Joe and I to her guild. That way they'll be able to pay it forward to one of their vets down in their area. And I think that's just a fun way to give back. This one here, I like it a little bit too much already. So this is going to be mine. Anytime I do something in all the blues, like the ocean, it's sticking around with me for a bit. Hey, Katie Crafts. Welcome, sweetheart. Welcome, welcome. Has anyone done Fallon's quilts that you could give an idea of what you like about them or what you don't like about them? Give a little review. Or have you bought any rulers from her yet? I'm just curious. Is it just me that's hooked on all of them? Oh, I've, got the, I've got the trim locks, the half ones. Oh, okay. Um, and what I do like you think them. of them so far? I like them. I like them. They, they stay put when you want to cut something. Um, accurate. Keep your hands away, you know, keep your fingers away from having to hold it close to the edge. Right. And stuff. I think I got to find out if they have like a six and a half inch, because that would be nice to have. Oh, absolutely. Especially if some of your blocks are like the star, I think, is a six and a half inch finish. So that would be nice to be able to make sure that was, you know. Right. On point. That would be cool. Loving all the fabric for both. I think it's going to be cool. I'm telling you. Mine's going to look a little bit different than Fallon's. She did a um, printed background. So I did the reverse of what she did. And I'm just curious as to how cool it's going to play together. And when you're laying your blocks back out, make sure that you're laying them in the right direction. It's going to make a difference. Yeah, so Jack doesn't have you, to come out. Yeah, you don't want to have a date with Jack today. No, no, no. Okay, let me see. Um, Vera Weeks, I love Fallon rulers. Absolutely. Carolyn Wilson, hello, hello. Loving all the fabrics. Yes, the square trio, quarter inch large. Awesome. Lynn Shepard, I love the cutting rulers. They have changed my cutting life. I don't think people realize these are really good if you have like arthritis or anything you don't have to put all the weights on the rulers and i'm not doing a paid advertisement by any means i just really see a difference in my quilting from these rulers that's why i'm like i really like them um i love the small ruler Bought the rollers from her. I see more of them in my future. Absolute. That's how I am. I told Joe, I said, I definitely need to get th the one with the wood on. What is that day? Side lock. The, the, well, the trim lock. Yeah, that's the next one on my list. The, the one with the wood, I think, is the side lock. The one is that, that what it is? Cut, the one that you where you the, just cut and you use your mats. I think that's a side lock. Um, let me see. Thumbs up, people. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda Foley. I have nearly all the Psylocke rulers. I have the six lover patterns, made three so far. Got hook trimming my HST papers. Absolutely. It makes such a difference. You wouldn't believe. And you know how they say, you know, when you find something that works, you want to stick with it. Well, that's how I feel about the, her rulers. I really enjoy them. And it makes the quilting experience just a bit better for me. Janine, hello and welcome. You must be on lunch break. Um, I have her paper rollers and the straight line quilting rollers. Love them both. Hi, Donna and Day. Janine is in the house. So who is going to be attending the weekend with Becca, Ian, and Tiffany? What, I can't even say that. Is that. How do you say that quilt they're going to be working on? 
consortium? Consortium. Continuum. 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 Yeah, words are hard sometimes. When it starts at breakfast on Friday night, goes to Tiffany's on Saturday for a private Zoom, whoever's put in for it. And then I believe it ends on Ian's on Sunday. Okay, I couldn't remember how the schedule went because I don't have my paperwork in front of me. Thank I you. I believe that's how it goes. And then this Friday night, I'm going to be binding quilts for the Ronald McDonald House and adding specialty labels to that. And then next Friday night at 9 o'clock, I'll have a special guest on my channel. And it is going to be none other than, drum roll please, Karen Brown of Soviet Quilts. So that's going to be fun. Oh, no, so no, no, no. Just, just get it done. Oh, just get it done. Sorry. Just get it done. So this is where my pins are going to come in handy. And what I'm going to be doing is taking the first piece, and that's going to be my center. And I'm going to lay out my block like this. And if this is really going to work, I'm going to double check my layout, and I'm going to flip it over. And this is supposed to be a handy technique, so we shall see if okay, it is. Here's ready to go. Where I'm so, I'm so, I'm still making my my sides. It's okay. It's okay. So I've got the top section in here. So you can opt to pin all of them on one side, or you can fold this little piece back. Well, like and lay this one in. That way you're going to go up one side and down the other. And that's what this it's supposed to be able to be done this way. So I'm only going to do one of them. And we're going to see if it's saving time when we're doing it. No guarantees. No, you pin, I'm not pinning it, but are you at least putting clips on it to keep it out of the way? I am pinning it. And this is the way the video that I saw. Everything's lined up here in the center. And it's going to stay up like this. So it's not going to be in my way going up or down. Gotcha. Do you see what I mean? Uh -huh. So let's see if this works. It's supposed to be a bit quicker. And you stay true to your quarter inch. My needles are very thin, even though I don't like to sew over them. For this technique, I will. And then I'm just going to flip it over. And my thread broke because I had to cut it there. So, so far, the technique is there. It's operator error on the machine. I pulled my fabric wrong. Because I pulled it to the left, I unthreaded. And you just continue to come straight down. So if you're having an evening just sitting and socializing, you could be sitting and pre-pinning and having these ready to roll. So all you have to do is finger press them out, finger press them out this way, and you've already got one block and all of your points line up really easy. I seen that yesterday, Donna. Oh, my God, that is so amazing and cannot wait. The, that episode. This is going to be fun. So I'll sit and chat with you guys just a little bit and get these pinned in. And all you have to do as you're doing it is making sure along the way that you do have your corner pieces going the right way. If not, you will be having a date with Jack and you definitely don't want that. Um, I'm so excited for the Karen Brown episode. That one has been in the works for quite a bit. And um, we finally managed to be able to line up our schedules. And that is going to be a blast. Yeah, that's going to be a fun interview. Mm -hmm. It really is. And I can't wait. So if anyone has special questions you would like me to ask, 
please email them to me at dawn at handmade by Ying. And that will get your questions. Just put Karen Brown at the top in the subject line and your question will be asked. Hello, Tracy Lee's question. Are you doing going to the sister show this year? So all I'm going to do is fold this over and move it out of my way. And I'm going to continue to do these just like this as we're doing it. Lynn, I'm hoping to this year if I stay healthy. We're praying for you, Teresa Louise. You have no clue. Thanks, Dave, for dropping that link. Hoping it'll pop up. And it's always just a little snip and pin. And we're going to slide it in. The way I'm turning these, I want to make sure that I'm laying them in right. As long as you've got your dark corners at the corners, your blocks will line up. So this is a technique that does work. But for me, I don't think it's going to be saving me a whole lot of time. I plan on going and hit the see there. Cool. Did anyone see that Quilcon is going to be back in Raleigh? Not this common year for 25, but 26. How cool is that? So you need to start planning and saving. That was a fun time. I had the best time, and I can't wait to go again. I wish they did it there every year. So I'll go ahead and get this one in. Then I'm just going to do the one side pin, and then we're going to see which is more efficient. Kind of like just checking it out. And if I was going to do this all the time, I would definitely take this down to the TV at night when I'm sitting and just watch TV and pin on commercials. Well, there you go. That way you think you're ready to go. Yeah. It's a good technique. And then, as you can see, I'm over here, and that's where the rulers are going to come into place when we get ready to trim these down. So we're just going to throw them over here out of the way. Pop the pins here. And finger press them. And making sure you're Corners are where they're supposed to be. So I'm going to take this stack and this stack, and we're going to get rolling. I'm going to try it two different ways and see which works best for me. So if you're a pinner, feel free to pin. If not, you can line them up. Hello, rainy day in Alabama. It's a rainy, awful day here, too. We've had storms move through all night. We were supposed to be outside this evening working on getting the pool opened up. Well, that's just not going to happen today. But it's supposed to be beautiful the rest of the week, so we shall see. So, are you guys a pinner or a non-pinner? Um, that would be fun. I love walking. I love being walk around. So, with friends and sisters on live. I heard a sister's quilt. Where's that? Hello, Carolyn Wilson. Hi, 
I think it helps me stay a little more accurate. <laughs> I think so. And that's what it's all about, right? Right. Well, it's a I journey. Have, I have a fun. Irregardless. Yeah. I think it's all just the journey. We are all learning something new every time we sit down to quilt. Whether it be a new technique you saw someone use, whether it be a new the newest toy on the market for a tool, whether it's an upgrade to your sewing machine, maybe something as simple as change your thread for a better um, experience for yourself. Whatever the case may be, just enjoy the journey. I've learned so much from creators like Teresa Louise, Tiffany, Becca, I mean, Karen Brown. There's just so many. Never stop learning. I know I'm never going to be too old to learn. And that's what's fun. Um, good Wednesday to everyone. Pinner. Absolutely. It depends on what I'm doing. If I pin or not, I'm a fan of web piecing. I am too. I really like web piecing the best. Now that wasn't, that was fun to learn how to do that. Get better at it, I should say. Right. I like the web piecing. It goes quick. You don't mix up your pieces. And you're consistent the whole way. I like that. Lynn, I have a cousin that lives in Sisters. Where is that at? Is that out by you, Teresa Louise? What's that? Uh, Sisters, I've never heard of it. In Oregon. Oh, okay. Is it like a quilt show or is it a quilt shop? It's, it's outside and it's always the first week of July, someone said. Oh, okay. Um, yes, it's outdoors, always first week in July. How cool. Me too. I learned so much. I appreciate all I do. Good evening, Genevieve. Hello, hello. Um, is there a link for the web piecing? Never heard of it. I will do a standalone video of the web piecing, but I'm going to be showing that here in just a minute how you can keep everything lined up in its entirety. And it really works when you're putting a block together. I learned the technique from Tiffany over at Tiffany's Quilting Life. I've seen it done by other creators and it never stuck. When Tiffany showed it, it was like the light bulb turned it. And I just really appreciate her showcasing it. And she does it a lot on a lot of her patterns. Um, web piecing is so cool. Tiffany shows web piecing. Yep, she sure does. And it keeps everything lined up. That's where I learned. And I love the way that she does it. So all I'm going to do, web piecing, is this. I'm going to take all of this goodness and drop it. That way I'm keeping everything together and it's all staying consistent. And I'm going to bring over my stack and keep it here to my right. So all I'm going to do is flip it over and lay it in, making sure I start at my points. And move them right there out of my way. 
and you're going to let the machine do the work for you. It just keeps everything consistent. Everything stays lined up and you don't have any errors along the way. So all I'm going to do is open this up. Take one from here. It's already lined up in the correct position. I don't have to worry about messing it up and sliding it through. And this is just one of the many techniques that she teaches over on her channel. Open it up and just continue to do the same process. And it just makes everything go a little bit faster. And you don't have to worry about messing up anything. It's already there in its place. Grab one, flip it over, and it's already going to be in the exact spot it needs to be. Stay true to your quarter inch. And as long as you're making sure your middle block stays here, you're going to lay it over, flip it, line up your one spots, and continue in. And continue for the rest of the blocks. And I like to just drop it down in front of me. That way the machine's going to do the pulling up. And I'm not going to have to worry about lining things up or picking them up again. Everything's just all webbed together. And we'll cut it apart at the end. And it just makes it a little bit simpler. And everything stays lined up nice and tidy. Flip it open. And line it up. Just keep going. Um, me too. Teresa, I have family. I love the names of the places out there. It's in Seaside, Oregon. That's where I was a couple years ago. Oh, okay. It's always kind of dreary and overcast and rainy in the morning. And oh, really? Yeah. That side of the Pacific... That's out of the Pacific. Uh... Oh, wow. There's a little little uh, touristy town we were in. Oh, okay. But that's where they also, if I'm not mistaken, not far from there, they, uh, they filmed the movie The Goonies. Oh, got gotcha. ya. Yeah. So I've never been to that the Pacific Northwest, it was fun. It's nice, something different. I'm like being the Pacific Ocean, so I said I did it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was on the cold side, but hey, we did it. You got to try it but, once. I wouldn't do it, but he did. I made him take pictures of me videotaping, put my feet in the water. <laughs> I bet he was like, woman, no. Right. Line them up and dip them in. And anytime you're doing a project, if you have everything set up, it makes the experience just a little bit more pleasurable. So you're not cutting each block one at a time. You're doing them in stacks. And you can become more proficient and work a little faster or you can just one at a time, whatever works for you. I like to streamline and move forward and just get them in. That I like the process of cutting it, starching it, the whole nine yards. I love every step. I do so much FPP. It's nice to get into traditional a little bit too. So 
So what's your favorite? Um, FPP or traditional day? I'll see what everybody else says. Actually, I like them both. I'm getting, you know, I, I feel like I'm getting better at both. You know, mm -hmm. Sometimes I miss the line, but I'm, I get close. Right. And I'm, I'm getting to the point, like you said, if you cut all, you cut all the material for, for all the pieces that you need, it makes it a little easier than having to keep getting up and down, ironing, cutting. Right. You can set you can it up a little bit better. This, yeah, you can use, do the same step multiple times and then move on. Right. And if you have the, the boards, you know, you can lay out so many at a time and then do them and then get up and get in the, the next set. Right. Um, let me see. I need to go. Okay, Lynn, have a great day. Let me see. Um, really well. We need the chat. I'll email you, Teresa. Teresa, did you get your email fixed, honey? I know she had a, a lot of trouble with that. So it's time to get this stack pressed out. Here I do not starch, but before I piece this quilt together, I pre-starched my fabric, but I'll lay it out tonight, these blocks, and I will starch them up and then give them another pressing. I find that on the long arm, it works better for me to do it that way. see i love both equally i really enjoy the process of the fpp without a doubt i've tried epp but i can't hold the needle right and traditional i i just i don't know i like the the way it goes together so much quicker right that's the one thing that's the one difference between fpp and traditional fpp mm -hmm. takes a tad longer because I don't think you can truly streamline like you're doing webbing. I don't think so with FPP. Because you're trying to you try to keep the points and right. You know. And pieces are all different. Where like with your nine patch, you know that you're having three across, three right, three down, and they're all the same size. Right. Um, Jackie says she likes FPP better. My iron is right next to my machine. That's how I have to work. I never really did that in the beginning when I was learning. I had my big ironing board and blah, blah, blah. And I'd get up every time I sewed something in. And then I don't know if it was over at Teresa Louise's, one of the channels. I saw that they had the ironing board. So I took, um, those food trays TV trays from the living room, put fabric on it and made an ironing board. And it works perfectly to have it right next to me. And I think it's just a fun way to make it work. Well, the one good thing about having to get getting up all the time is exercise. <laughs> true. You know, so true, true. Sitting stagnant, not moving at all. Yeah, I like Trace's rule. If you're sitting for an hour, you got to get up and wiggle. Got to get up and walk. And I try my best to do that. And I really like the way the D's have the light in the dark. At first, I was going to pull all those lights out, but it's kind of like speckled. So now that I'm seeing them more together, you know what I mean? I might like it a little better. I like regular piecing. I get it, Teresa Louise. Well, you're so good at doing your collages. <laughs> She's an artist. That's it. You know, there's no other way of putting it. She's an artist. 
did that horse was spectacular. Yep. I think we all have our special that we like to do. Yep. I've tried the collage. Trace has got a couple of mine out there with her. And um, I think I'm kind of like, okay, I've experienced it. It's not my forte, but it's something I would have to do a lot more of to get better at it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let me see. I never did any of it. Yep. Yes. Get up and wiggle. I set my stove timer for one hour and forces me to get up to go shut it off. I get it. So it's time to trim. There's multiple different ways you can do it. We'll lay this one in. Bring our ruler. And this is what we've dubbed the Fallon ruler. And we're just going to lay it in. And the trick to this is going to honestly be make sure your corner to corners are lined up. I do like collage art quilts. Absolutely. And then just hold it still and slide it around. You're going to get all four. Pick it up, shake it off, and if any little pieces are still left, grab them off. And got a little fray piece there. So that's how quick and easy these are. I always use my ruler to clear my tray. And we just go down through it, line up corner to corner. And square it off. Like the way that one shaved. Make sure I'm getting all those little frays and continue the process. Um, when I'm not on my live irons across the room, so it really makes you get up. Absolutely. Sometimes you might have to pull your corners down because sometimes it gets askew a little bit. And that's okay because it's going to be square when you're done and just go along the whole process. And this ruler absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt makes it go a lot quicker. So you're not really having to put a lot of thought into it. You're just going to lay it down. Make sure your corners are at their peaks. And just keep zipping through. Four turns and bam, you're done. And I wouldn't be picking threads, but I neglected to have Joe change my rotary blade. So that's why you're seeing me pick threads. Donna, is there a link to this pattern? It's over at Soviet Quilts. 
It's called Diamond. I'm, I'm sorry, Dancing Stars. And it's in her description box of all of her videos. I had it in my first lineup, but um, Joe needed to change over from mobile to the computer for me today. And not screwed up yet, but I think it looks beautiful, Day. Love it, love it, love it. Coming along, I thought I'd put a couple together. <laughs> Absolutely. So I feel accomplished. <laughs> what do you mean, feel accomplished? Or accomplished, my friend? So, so I look like I've done something today. Besides just putting these pieces together because they take time. The FPP does take a little bit longer. But it has exact marks. Everything lines up almost perfect. Uh, you yeah, know? Oh, on my end, you hope. <laughs> Day, quit that. Yours is perfect. My side, I hope. Hello, everyone. Just got home from the gym. My old butt is kicking. Sheila, good job. Good, good job. And next week, I'll have my blade changed. I didn't even think about it. And I know I haven't changed it in a bit. Well, I never do. Joe does, but... Joe napping on the job, is he? No, I forgot to say, hey, it's time. Because he's always right on the ball with it. Definitely want to have a sharp blade because the old blades cut you. Exactly. I'm so the sharp ones. Mm -hmm. Got to run. See you later. Bye, honey. Have a good day. Bye, Take Jenny. care of the littles. Yep. Be safe on the road. Protect the babies. The next week's block is going to be the diamond going to the left and the star. right. And star. Star. the star, the dancing star. <laughs> that diamond's in my head, I'm telling you. It has been, and I can't shake it. Oh, uh, you know, it must be because this girl likes diamonds. I don't know. I like diamonds too. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day's coming up. Right, girl right. needs a new diamond. I'm going to tell you, you ain't my mother. There you go. Yeah. Take care of that. That was an easy out. <laughs> All right. Dag, man. But you're the mother of his children. There you go. Yeah, exactly. They had to get here somehow. They weren't had. All right. Um, I enjoy the process of paper piecing. I thoroughly... If I had to pick which one I prefer the most, it would definitely be FPP, hands down. I love legit kits. I enjoy Violet Crafts. I just, I like the whole process of the neat finish. It takes the um, thinking out when you buy it as a kid. I've seen so many do it with their stashes. And I envy them. My brain doesn't work that way. I have to have everybody help me. Okay, does this match? Does this work? That's just not in my wheelhouse. And I just don't do well with it. So you, I think you have to know your limitations and what you're good at and what you're not. Sometimes you pick from the seat of your pants and hope for the best. Yep. <laughs> I've made some pretty unique colored quilts. What I thought would look pretty. And then when it's done, it's like, oh, wow. Definitely a donation. Somebody will love this. 
Ja. What do they say? If you cut the if you cut the fabric small enough, and all the yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Hello, quilting compounds. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Jamie. So this part is now done. Get all of this goodness. And I don't think that's a whole lot of waste. No. With all the trimming, that's not too bad. So how many did you say we needed? 21. I got 21 of them. Yes, I might yes. have to make some more. Two. Maybe I thought you had it all cut. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So, there's no way you should have all of them. 14. 19. 20. I have to do one more. And that's okay. Yeah, I Line up that way. Yeah, I had one extra block oh, man. set aside. And I was like, what in the world did I not do right? You know? Oh. I know when, we, when you got the pattern, we were messing around to see how, right. it, how it was going to look. Wouldn't be alive without a itch. Yeah. Huh? Without a hitch. Yeah. 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 Um, no Trace Louise really. Guess what? It's snowing. No way. Okay, Trace Louise has out. snow out there. Huh? Um just, Yes, paid, it's really snowing. I just paid my snow bill for March. Tony Tony had to plow me out once, so that was good. 
That's too funny. Well, we said um, we have on April and he might end up middle of May. Really? Yeah. Paul says he's seen it snowing his birthday. Aww. So I would love to see some of the snow again. Brandon Foley thought the pace card roller was Ian's. Pace card roller from F. I don't know how that pace card roller. I don't know anything about it. He's been, I think he purchased it from Fallon and Matt. And I don't know. I think Ian designed it. I think I think he helped Matt with the design and it's called the Ian ruler. Oh, uh, okay. It's dubbed yeah, it. Dubbed it the Ian Ruler. Yeah, but it's okay. from Sophia Quotes. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure, so I didn't want to answer. Line it up, and it'll spin just as well on here as it does any other turntable or whatever. And nope, that did not help with my amazing cuts. So they are all caught up, they are now done officially. The Hadger is coming, honey. I said, I think I've got I don't know, maybe 10 or 11 that completely gone. They still need to be trimmed, but I'm going to wait for the ruler. Right. So if anybody has any questions on this, now's the time to ask. Next week's blocks are going to be the star, the, the, yeah, dancing star. And you're going to be able to see in the pattern, one of them's going to go to the right, and then one set of them is going to go to the left. And it's going to be interesting as we build these out. We'll both come to the table with the stars done, but we're going to be showing you the technique of how to lay in the white from the pattern's directions. So it is... We're going to make 11 left-facing ones and 10 right-facing stars. So I think that's going to be cool as well. So, so let me lay. I want to put that back up here, and I'll pull down the quilt for those that haven't seen it yet and show you. This is the one that will be leaving here shortly. I've got 10 done so far. Awesome. Coming along. That, that turned out beautiful. I am so pleased with it. If it wasn't already promised, this one I would be keeping. Very rarely do we keep a quilt. I really like this. I like the quilting on it. I like the designs. That... It's just I really enjoyed this one. And I'm sure the recipient... Whomever he or she is will see the love that went into this. But as you can see, this is what the pattern turned out on my end versus using the bold background. And this is the same pattern right here. 
just different take on it. So I think it turned out really nice and you can see the difference. And I would very rarely do I like to do a quilt again. I'm doing two on this one. Um, it would be fun to put a board patch in the center of that star. Yeah, it would. A pattern is just that. It's just a pattern. It's an idea. And you can tweak it and change it however you would like. Yep, you buy it. It's yours. I'm loving the um, Tree of Life puzzle mystery quilt piecing. But did the legit sample block and love that also. Saving up for a legit kit as we speak. Jody, awesome. Um, I do like, yeah, I like the pre-cut fabrics. It's a, yeah, me too. Stephanie, hello, hello. Welcome, Stephanie. sweetheart. Did you get all your gardening done? I'm loving the quilt you're doing with the African fabrics. Absolutely. That's looking good too. Yeah. I think I'm going to pull my African prints. For the modern diamond. I think that'll look really cool. Oh, that'll be interesting. Yeah, just to see. I want to see what everybody else is using for fabric. And then I'll twist mine up. I'm, I'm really thinking I like that pattern. And I know I'd like the African prints with it. So, everybody, we've been on a little bit over an hour and some change. So I want to thank you guys for hopping on with Zay and I today. We humbly appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you back over here on Friday night at 930. Take care. Oh. God bless and have a fabulous day. Bye, guys. See ya. Thank you, Dave, for joining us. You're welcome. It was fun.